Hello everybody. Hello, hello. Let me get you up here. Hi there. We are back on Mechanicus. Why? Because we didn't finish it last time. Uh, why is there no sound? Because I turned it down. There we go. Let's put the sound back up. Bop, bop, bop. Right, cool, neat. All right, hello. We're going to be playing through the rest of Mechanicus, or as much as we can be bothered to. <laughs> um, is just a bit. I'm going to be laid back like this most of the time. Um, yeah, we're just going to continue with it. And hopefully this time, not completely fail at it. That would be nice. Right. Research opportunity detected. Ooh, deployment intervention wrist person. All right. We like Scarola. They're weird and shit. We like them. Um, is there any upgrades we can do before we go? I don't think we looked last time. We just kind of... We were like, fuck that. <laughs> no, no upgrades we can do so far. Right, let's just go through. Except this one says it's easy. So let's do the easy one. Because last time, if you remember, we got our asses handed to us. How do we get more, like, lads to take with us? Because... Kind of fucking us up. Do we get? I can take two cunts of the craft. One of them's just better than the other. All right. Well, we take both then. I just use one. All right. Let's go. I called you here, Lector Dog Dogmatis Vedix, because your knowledge of spiritual matters and the cult mechanicus will be crucial in dealing with any moral threats on the Silver Tenebris. That's sick. I have 543,021 works of scripture scored, stored for rapid context topical retrieval. Bit of a nerd. There is no obstacle beyond my capacity to counsel you on. Unnecessary use of cognitive power, waste of resources via X, insufficient use, go to augment bay for improvements. Then go to. Maybe it is. Xenos tomb is revealed to us as a great hungry maw that seeks to consume our very purity. Blasphemy reads from every corner of the tomb of Agrilek. Most poetic, Lector Dogmatis. Your thoughts on how to proceed. I shall take my cues from the writings of Archmagos Veneratus Hiereticus. Let the stench of corruption be swept aside by the sweet winds of faith. Mm. One of my censor servitors will cleanse the spiritual corruption with blessed incense. Then deploy one immediately. My thoughts exactly, Magos. With your assistance, the oversized work shall be done. Cool. Right, so last time when we did this, we went through it and we, we scoured every room. And what happened is, we just got our asses handed to us. So what I'm thinking is, we just take the shortest route to the end and just hope. We just hope that we do well. Alright, the sensor servitor is deployed at the tomb entrance to Magos. I am ready to send it on its way. Halt, Subdomina. The sensor servitor is a delicate piece of machinery. It is ill-suited to hostile territory. Alvanorians... Word 591 Fragile indeed are the tools of the righteous, it must be escorted on its sacred duty. Wow, don't be ridiculous. Every step we take in this tomb risks the lives of our personnel. If the spiritual integrity of the mission is truly at stake, Subdomina, Kfar, 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 yeah, it's worth the risk. All about them spirits, that's why he's got candles, see. And I assure you, it most definitely is. I've already sent a team ahead. I foresaw your emotional connection to your troops, Kfara. If you are ever to be a Dominus, I must show you how to command. My gratitude, Magos, the Xenos corruption will destroy us as surely as the guns of the enemy. Very well. His will be done. Okay. Where the fuck have we got to get to? We can get there in two easy steps. So we're gonna go here. <laughs> we're speedrunning this, boys. 
could just be my former Xenos map room. Most perturbatory. Throne knows what blasphemous notions they had about the stars. Okay! This chamber's walls are covered in elaborate star charts, covered in the intense annotations in the Necron language, suggesting they record journeys among the stars. We can destroy them. Our purpose here is to purify the tomb and the works of the alien should not be suffered to exist. Ignore them. The intellectual pursuits of the Necrons are of no interest to us. We make haste. Take pick captures of the star maps. They may prove informative. We're being quick. We're just going to ignore them. Our Raven's heresy was obliterated by a defer you in this matter, Magos. Ooh, the awakening has been reduced. And the initiative, we move quick. We schmove quick. We get through these combats by just blitzkrieging it. Alright. While traversing this chamber, the sensor servitor crossed a part of the floor that collapses under the machine's weight. The servitor is trapped at the bottom of the shaft of the machinery and pipework. It must be extracted. Fashion a system of pulleys and ropes to haul the machine out of the hole. Exhort the servitor to overload its magnetic levitation circuits. We'll climb into the hole and hold the servitor out manually. We can mechanics it. To every problem, a solution lies in the application of tech law. Thus, Ferroc, Ascapian wrote, and thus we've proven. I shall meditate on this revelation. Yeah! The initiative is awoken, but we've got some cognition points. The makeshift pulley system takes a long time to set up, but once in place, it proves up to the task of extracting the servitor from its predicament. Knee. Alright. No. Speed. Speed, 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 speed. Ah, oh, they know we're here. It's a shame. We're gonna have to fight then. We're gonna have to fight our way out. We got this. We'll be fine. Okay. Kill all enemies. And we go before them. Which is sick. Okay. Are these moving platforms? I think they are. That's exactly what they are. Okay. So, we want, we want Melee Boy to lead, but we also want the servitor with him. Yeah, the servitor needs to go with him. Um, and shooting one can go there-ish. That'll do. Alright. Let's move our way on. And we'll end this turn. Okay, this guy. Come and scan it. If we wanted to. Give it a nice old scan. Fuck is it? Oh, nice blackstone. Sick. Alright. We can be shot at. We move one up here. We can shoot this gun. Well, well we should just find out what their stats are first. Before we shoot them. Alright, they have 9 health. No resistances. We can blast them. And went his turn. Metal Boy can just make his way over. We can use his. We'll reveal his stats for now. So he's got less health, but he's got some resistance. Alright, that's fine. Alright, we're gonna get shot at now. Why shoot at me? Why shoot at the tech priest? Shoot at the nice servitor. We get cognition for that. Oh, so they move every turn. Okay. Well, we go first anyway. Oh no, they go first now. Eh? Eh? What's this about? How the hell has that happened? Anyway, you're right, it's just... That's shooty boy, innit? But we get him close enough, he can blast them. With both guns. Two damage, yay! 
Yeah, dodge this though, you fucker. Good. Get cognition for that. Uh, and then we'll move one up so we can shoot him next turn. You need to get in melee range, so just go for it. Use the cognition, hit him in the face. That'll do. They go there, there, there. All right, cool. We need to win this. We need the best ending. We need, we're not living in the darkest timeline. I would refuse to accept that. Just take one shot at him. So he's gone now. Oh, is it gonna hurt me? Oh, no, they don't hurt me. All right, that's good. And reveal your stats. See, this is easy. This game's easy. Why were we failing before? Because it was an aircraft destroyer. That's why. Went his turn. You need to start making your way over here. I hope that doesn't count as an enemy. At least I wouldn't have thought it would. Use a cognition to just get him that extra bit. That way, next time he might actually be able to do something. reaches a location where the air currents through the tomb will, be, will take its sacred uh, exudations to every corner of the tomb. The air cohort guards it until its incense is fully deployed and can be escorted back to the tomb entrance. Nice! The census servitor has been delivered to the depths of the tomb. Lector Dogmatis is sacred incense now permeates all areas of the structure. Nice. Positive outcome, Magus. It is right and proper that you that you see, as I do, the dangers posed by the corrupted influence of the Xenos. 
It remains to be seen if this tomb is rendered less dangerous for our troops. At the very least, the place is less melodronous. I trust you will continue to consider the alien with hatred and disdain and the ace desert Magos. As we explore this world, remember the words of binary hierarch Geth some more. The weak in mind will seek to understand the Xenos, the strong in mind will destroy them and bless their ignorance. <laughs> nice, that went well. Not too damaged, he died. <laughs> How much blast stone did we get? Deploy a sensor servitor, yeah. Up, so we're at ten percent awakening of the tomb. It's fine. We got another can of the craft. I keep forgetting that the canticles exe exist. Oh well. Ooh, new missions. Right, let's see if we can upgrade anyone. We want to upgrade Big Fun Boy here. We're literally just going down this path. Do one damage to target. Chill. So service guard now just does damage. Think we target melee attack? No. Um. I'm liking the claw and just heal himself. He's gonna get shot at. I know he's gonna get shot at. Which is sick. Uh, can we upgrade you down your melee tree? Avoid all opportunity attacks plus the movement. Yes, please. And he can have the extra melee thing. Yeah. Have a melee attack thing. Am I am I am at augment capacity. That's fine. Do we still have a servitor yet? Can we recruit any more? No. Priest and a Ranger Alpha. What do we get from you? We'll get a Ranger. Uh, and then get some gear from that. So we do these two. This will be fine. Death Marks, Flayed Ones, Necron Warriors, alright. We want to be able to do this, alright. Launch mission. Key. Or do we want to do this one first? No, uh, they've got. Ah, uh, yeah, we'll go. We'll go for it. It says it's easy says it's easy, we can do this. Um, literally, let's just place that with that one. I, I mean, we've just got the same bloody mechanical multiple times. <laughs> you do not relish this mission, Subdomra Kafra. I ascertain this from your pupil dilation and nervous system stress levels. Even in victory, the men and women on the ground suffer. That is not something I imagine troubles on Magos. Some tech priests choose to exercise the emotional centers of their brains, especially when they reach the main ranks of Magos. I did not. I have fought under plenty of Magi who had no emotion at the loss of men and women in combat. I'm glad to know I'm not doing that again. I'm capable of quarantining emotions in my neurovolts and choosing to experience them if they are beneficial. I am not ruled by them but I'm not ignorant of them either. That is why casualty rates on missions under my command are 11.7% below the average. We've been dying quite bad so far, so I don't know. I'll take that as a good omen. Subdomina Kra. How goes your attempt of establishing a foothold on Silvara Tenebris with our main force? Operations in the tomb of Ecopis are continuing, Magos, but the enemy is pressing our parameter hard. It is impossible to explore the tomb if all of my troops are tied up, keeping themselves from being overrun. I see. The enemy is aware of our presence. It seems like it. They're not just attacking at random. The Necrons are exerting pressure. Key points exerting. 
All this game's proving is that I can't read. Exerting pressure at key points hoping we will falter. Logic demands a response. Ignoring this predicament invites defeat. Your solution? With your help, collapse the tomb on them first. Alright, alright. We just want to complete the missions. That's what we need to do. We need to stop fucking around. And complete the missions. I've plotted four locations in Tomb of Echoris. If these are made impassable with demolition charges, the Necrons won't have the run of their own tomb anymore. My cohort will see this done. Once the key points are blocked, the Necrons will be funneled into our crossfire. They'll spend a lot more li lives testing our defensives. I'm not certain the Necrons can accurately set to have lives. Well, whatever they have, they're going to lose a lot of them. Alright. Deployment number four. Alright. So what's the quickest route? One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five. Alright, we go this way then. Dari units holding the tomb of a are suffering communications glitches and one unit has run a cable to the command post to stay in touch. This cable runs across the chamber ahead and it is obvious it has become severed, potentially cutting the unit off from the rest of the Skatari force. Fix the cable and check the surrounding area of the tomb to find the Skatari unit and see how that is faring. Ignore the cable, it's the Skatari unit's problem thing, not yours. I fix the cable as best you can. Their initiative has gone up, but we've got some cognition points. Using basic tech rituals, the cohort repairs the cable. They can ill afford the time spent, but can go on knowing they have fulfilled their duty to both the Omosai and their fellow embattled units. Alright, sick. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Right, let's go. Next room. All this exploring. Nah. Could be worth checking this out. The damage here might give us some information on how to best bring down the target area of the tomb. The chamber ahead is partially collapsed with dangerously sagging ceilings and it appears highly dangerous. Ooh. Carefully examine the damaged chamber to learn about the tomb's structural weaknesses. Find a way around the chamber, it's too dangerous to risk the cohort here. Uh, try bringing down the whole chamber to test the placement of the cohort's demolition charge. Avoid the. Ah, fuck. The cohort forges the path around the damaged area, but doing so travels through parts of the tomb well traveled by the Necrons and reveal their position to the enemy. Shit! Alright, that's fine. Fascinating. Could this be some event from the distant history of the Necron race? I heard rumors of such mythology among the theories about the Necrons, but confirming it could be a breakthrough. On the wall of this chamber is inscribed a complex design resembling the star map, but the stars are depicted being consumed by an ill-defined entities of swirling light and shadow. Record the inscription in pit grabs, but spend no more time here than necessary. Obliterate the sterile step. It is a relic of Xenos mythology and hence blasphemous. Stop to thoroughly examine the inscriptions for information that a pit grab would miss. Just pit grab it. Very worrying. I thought this was a chance to be the first to reap knowledge of the Necrons myth. I'll think twice before seeking out such things in the future, Megos. Fuck, it's still a bad choice though. The pit grabs transmitted to the ship. I'm not I'm, I'm not saying it again. Prove grainy uh, and, and low resolution, nothing can be made from them. The cogatures right. Give me a sec, I'm getting a phone call.
Hey, I'm back. Sorry about that, lads. <laughs> let's continue. Let's continue. All right. Uh, okay, let's go. Right to the room. Speed run. Extra next runs in battle. Fuck. All right, it's battle time though. It's time to do 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 Oh shit, there's a lot of scarabs. Survive four rounds. Okay, well we want... Melee boy up here with the servitors in front. And we want you... You as far back as can be. Okay, let's attempt. Hey. Let's go, I've got here. Where the fuck is it going? <laughs> what was its plan there? Oh, I've been acid. It did, it did. They do so much fucking damage. Alright, so he's dead. Because they've just focused him. Okay. Well, he can just stay there and hit someone. Yeah, he's dead. <laughs> what was the point? Ugh. them back. I see. And how do we activate canticles? Right. Oh, it's going to tell us. These are the canticles available to use in this mission. Canticles can only be once per mission, so keep in mind there might be more fights to come. Yeah, no, let's not use them right now. Let's get some cognition. Um, he doesn't suffer opportunity attacks, so we'll just take him over here, because then he can start bapping that guy. Yeah. Except he's now going to get opportunity attacked. Although I can use this in combat. <sighs> oh! Yeah, you little fucker. Oh, right, no, wait. Uh, if I move here, then I can shoot it. Can't shoot through my own boys! Can I move one forward? I think I can heal that guy if I do. Yeah, I can heal him. E that cost anything though. I think it probably did. Oh well. That's fine. More boys. That's fine. Nice critical call here. It's gonna shoot him though. Of course he is. Okay. Yeah, we're about to get blasted. Yeah. 
I think we'll heal on him as well, just so that he stays at full health. There we go. Nice. Right, we want to, first off, get rid of him. Now, if we come here, blast with that. Get some damage. And we'll retreat back over here <laughs> to get some cognition. And that would be his turn. Nice. Hurts, though. Shit, it's a flayed one. What is this vile mix of flesh and machine? Is this a form of Necrons in its infant state? What has Scaferda got to say? Unsurety statement loaded, unsure of life firm progression path, diagnosed impossible outcomes, signs of de degradation, deformed segmentation, and physiology deformities. Possible solutions, infant disease, parasitic life form that represents form of ripped flesh, should I continue? That's enough Scaverella, I believe we are not the ones to diagnose Necron's health but instead be their executioners. I'm mostly concerned for my troops morale, there have been reports of Skatari disappearing in these tombs and I believe I now know why. Skatari liars, Archaeotech, STC fragments mission. How supportive of you, Redditors. You Chad. You fucking Chad. Big Chad man. Alright. He's gonna take a lot of damage here. Oh my god, that guy moves quick. Okay. We wanna move into melee range. We'll find out how much health you have. Not that much, only five. Okay. We'll step to him so if he wants to attack me, he'll have to do that. Uh, and we can come over here. So, first off, we can heal him. <laughs> he needs it. <laughs> so we won't be able to shoot with the big gun. Actually we will if we go get some cognition. Whee. Oh, do please do enough damage. So a uh, place I could go to hit all of them. I mean, what's gonna have to do? Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> what I'll have to do then. I think if we survive this round, we win. No, he's on his way. Life forms, sudden appearance, and all aspects unexpected. Diagnosis, po possible tech, formless teleportation, or warp travel unknown. This is no form of warp travel, the tele telepic telepathica aboard has reported no disturbance near the planet the whole time we've been here. Alternative, alternate dimensional shift, teleportation unknown. Teleportation tech too volatile, no power signs, no lighting, no single marks, tomb too deep for teleportation. Alternative, alternate dimensional shift unknown. We know there is only the Im Im immaterial real space scriptures have written about only these two for millennia. Noting conclusion unknown, logged, disappointment, desires for answers must be fulfilled. Okay. Do we, do we win though if we... 
What do you mean kill away enemies? You cannot drop that on me like that. Because he just nukes people. That is not fair. Fuck. The fuck is this mission? <laughs> that is hardly fair. I can't even repair myself. I'm gonna die this next turn. Oh yeah. 100%. Thanks game for telling me what Overwatch meant as well, bruh. <laughs> He's dead. He's on one health. He's dead. Easy my ass. How the fuck? <laughs> Mission failed. Oh dear. Damnation, this would have taken the pressure of my men in the tomb. Now I have to commit more troops to keep the tomb of Ecropis open. A lot of those men will never come out again. There will be other victories on this world, Subdomina. Though my emotional cause would turn to spare at this failure, yeah, I petition it aside and focus on future potential instead. We all have other opportunities to punish the Necrons for every drop of our blood they shed. I'd rather that blood and oil were not shed in the first place. My troops only possess so much of it. How the fuck was I supposed to have done that? Yeah, they're dead, they're dead. <laughs> there was way too many things for me to actually feasibly kill. And I, and, I, and I only went through there like speedy. I went straight through there. I didn't even get anything. Next to attacks ignore all armor. It's pretty good, I guess. Yeah, I can't upgrade anything. Let's try this one. Oh, I can bring more of them! I'm so thick. For fuck's sake. Anyway, the potential for corruption in the tomb of Agrolet continues to vex me, Magos. The spreading of the incest was not enough. I fear not, Magos. The malevolence of the Necrons is overwhelming. Observations on the Tech Cosmos verse 68. We are derelict in our duty. Wherever we allow corruption to plague the minds of good men. Then what do you suggest? Our progress in the tomb makes it possible for us to install a system of vox casters in the structure. And what would that achieve? Lingua Technis prayers could be transmitted to the very heart of the Necron's resting place. Our troops would go everywhere, bathed in the sacred binary of the Omnissiah, sayings of the Princeps 65-4. When thou diarist to discourse purely, use binary. Uh, novel concept, Lector Dogmatis. Well, that's apparently we're going for it anyway. We're, we're, we're doing it anyway. I have considered your plan, Videx, and a cohort has been deployed to that area. I have personally selected the prayers of purification and translated them into broad spectrum binary. Once the Vox casters are alive, the tomb will ring to the Omnicide's word. I have the Vox caster location plotted, Magos. I'm still uncertain if it is worth the risk to our people. One possession of unaugmented emotional centers cannot appreciate the benefit of this operation. Galathomorians 45 7 above bullets, above blades, care for your soul above all. Your concerns are noted, Kafara, but you have your orders. Yes, Magos. His will be done. We're fucking bolting for it again. Okay. It's a combat already. We 
We're gonna get fucked. We're gonna get utterly fucked. Maybe this is just gonna go bad. Survive three rounds. Yeah, and then you're gonna try and tell me I've got to fucking kill everything. Wankers. So much damage these Necrons though, like I don't understand. Okay. Let's just blast him for now. as well. Oh my god. I mean I'd love to put down another servitor but I can't. him off with the little stabby stab. Very nice. Uh, oh, if I spend one, he can make his way around here. Lock that guy in combat. Beneficial. Five fucking damage, my guy. This Chad. as well. Sick. No, he won't take a lot of damage even, that's what I mean. Bruh. There's another Necron coming. And another flayed one. Jesus Christ. Yeah, now I have to kill all enemies. It's, it's great, isn't it, that the game fucking tells me that. It's lovely to know. need it at some point. Uh, yeah, get the cognition back. Hmm. You're 
gonna shoot him. Because of course you are. Alright. He's gone. You stay there and try and tank. This is a lot better. This is going a lot better. Okay, we'll use a little stabby stabby thing. To get rid of that. And then we can come over here and do some real damage. Archmagi Appendix 4, such sweet music as the chatter of binary. That is no tongue to lie. Ensure the volume is sufficient, Magos. First broadcaster unit is in place. It immediately begins transmitting the complex binary lingua of t lingua technics. Yeah. Volume level alpha. Leave the volume the same. The prayers are loud enough as is. Turn the volume up to maximus. Let the enemy tremble before his word. Increase the volume by prayer. Shall this place be cleansed? Let's just have it a bit increased. Its volumes. The vox cast of volume increases, shaking the structure around the cohort. The enemy cannot help but be aware of it. But the tech priests are emboldened by the tirade of sacred binary. All right, let's jump. So now we need to go a little bit to there. Well, there's a glyph. We know that one's good. Sick. It's a black stone. Let's move on. Okay, we're at level two, so this next combat might be a bit difficult. The cohorts communications pick up a transmission played in the binary adjacent Xenos language that can be interpreted as a distress signal. It is orientating originating from the next chamber and is transmitted only in the very local area. Listen to the transmission from outside the chamber. Attempt to answer the transmission. Enter the chamber to find the source. Just listen. Transmission is a looping distress signal that peers out into static before restarting. It sounds like the final words from a dying ship. The uncertainty of its origin or the reasons it is being played in the tomb is far more disconcerting than knowing the truth. That's fine. Necron Tomb is trying to defend itself, so clearly our mission is working. As for the 9413, the enemy rushes to action when our administration is causing fear. A swarm of tiny scarab like constructs emerge from the apertures in the wall and begin scurrying all over the caster, chewing through its casting with their steel mandibles. 
Clear away scarabs with the cohort's melee weapons. Clear away scarabs with the righteous application of flame. Retrieve the box carton before, it's going to yeah, before it can be deployed anywhere elsewhere. Straight with melee weapons. Killing scarabs is a messy business and some of the cohort are infested by the creatures and forced to divest themselves of clothing before the biting constructs can be removed. The box caster, however, is saved. Yay! Find Fox Cast is installed, the binary players flow through the tomb, filling both real space and the local no-sphere with the words of the worsh workshop exalting the ominous fire and the creed of Mars. Sick. The holy lair of the alien now rings to the words of the ominous fire, epigram saying Eucles. 389, protect the shield of the mind and the body will be shielded thereby. Necrons are going to strike out our minds as well as our bodies, and we must protect both. In this, Lecter Dogmatis, I agree with you. I hope we are both of the same mind, mind in other matters too, Magos. Our exploration of Silver Tenebris should be executed with a view to destruction all, of all traces of the alien. I have not yet decided if we should commit such extremities, Videx. I feel multiple emotional prerequisites as well as logical analysis, all competing for primacy in my neurovolts. Our mission here may not be as simple as you think. Just be ready to make the right choice when the time comes, Megros. Recall the words of Fabrica to generous Plutonis, the eyes of the Omissiah are ever upon us. Too fucking right. Alright, we only got hurt a little bit. They were fine. <laughs> Killed quite a lot. Later now alive. E and we've unlocked more blessings as well. Nice. Oh my god, so many new canicles. And have I got Yes. Actual fucking Skatari boys now. Okay. What's he got? Both of his attacks are energy attacks, aren't they? Yeah, so surely he should. Oh no, let's upgrade him first. But yeah. Did he really. Oh, I need more augment slots. slot. I don't care about the other one. This is my fave. He's my boy. <laughs> this one's so been left behind that I don't really care though. Right, let's do another mission. That's hard. That's a normal mission. Gives a ranger alpha if we can do it. You just give me tech. Supposedly that's easy. Alright, let's try it. Let's try this. So it costs to bring them. Hmm. Doubtful you would seize my attention with such alacrity. Were they going to plan, Subdominant? One of my Skatari units is escorting an Oculus topographist to produce fuller interior scans of the tomb of Agrilek. They have become bogged down by Necron attacks and are cut off. They will surely perish if they do not get immediate support, and the Oculus will be lost too. And yes, I am aware it's worth a lot more than any of my soldiers' lives. Well, let's go fucking get it. Last communications from the Skatari said they were under heavy fire and trying to prepare a de defensive position. Since then, they have gone dark. They are dead, or the architecture of the tomb is interfering with their comms again. 
Both fast abilities re reduce the percentage chances of, of the Oculus Topographis being recovered. Which is why I need your tech priest on this Magos. We have to move with speed and a hell of a lot of firepower. That I can supply, we advance immediately. Yes, Magos. Thank you, Magos. Alright. Fuck, where we gotta go? One, two. Oh, where's the quickest route? One, two, three, four, five. Alright, we'll take that. We'll take this route. <sighs> we can try. Not a good sign for it to become separated, but perhaps it was damaged by enemy fire in any case it might contain some useful data. My functioning service girl drifts around this chamber, trailing sparks. It looks like one the one that accompanied the unit escort in the Oculus to Topographica. Recover the service girl and return it to the ship. Extract the data medium chip and leave the skull behind itself behind. It may have become contaminated with Xenos data. Search the chamber before trying to recover the Xenos cell. Enemies may be nearby. Acquire it. Service skull proves rather more alert and mobile than it first appeared and zooms around the chamber erratically, evading capture. Finally, it spins out and shatters against the wall into dozens of bone fragments. The fruitless pursuit takes up time in the cohort and the ill afford to have wasted. Motherfucking stupid service skull. Uh, anything going on in here? Be wary, Megos. Remember, uh, motions make an A316. Seek not the words of the Xenos, lest they infect us with blasphemy. Oh no. Fox cast a unit somewhere in the tomb nearby is broadcasting streams of code, possibly a Necron transmission. This could be a Necron communications device and destroying it could disrupt their capacity to coordinate their attacks. Destroy it. Oh, we got a thing as well. They know we're here though. The cohort takes a detour from their path to find de the device, a large machine of obvious Necron's construction that is increasing in the volume of data it's transmitting. A quick burst of gunfire later and it is destroyed. It's in its contained valuable materials that can be harvested for use by, by the rest of the mission. Sick. Let's get some glyphs. Because that's glyph room. Is it gonna give us one that we know? Yes it is, we know that's Blackstone. <laughs> Let's go. Extra Necrons in battle. Right. Let's try and win this. Because then we get an alpha. And an alpha would be nice. Oh god, it's an immortal way. New template detective observing excitement, excitement state and a glorious Xenos fairy. Their weapons tell us on the weapon tech. They do not show signs of Promethean flame attack, which only shows their inferior steps in te technological advancement. I recall that in Xenos the Khan version that the Xenos. Not now, Videx. We've dealt with immortals for a while now, they're proving to be a worthy threat. Now they have a separate weapon pattern, this is most concerning for our troops, sire. Troops with little concern, mission is always priority over bio life forms. Fucking Redditus is such a big dick. So, we've got to scan or destroy that. And the only way to do that is to get close to it. Well, looks like we're going balls to the walls then. We just gotta fucking get up there. I don't like him, I don't like him, I don't like him, I don't like him. Don't think they can attack me this turn though. No, they can't. Cognition, please. Be able to get one from it. Well, that's fucking dumb. Okay. Two damage, that's fine. We literally just need to get there though. Okay, and they're gonna wanna 
attack him. Which is fine. Oh, fuck it, hell. We're going through the middle. It's fine. We do this big dick. I don't have enough combination points. Feels bad. Alright, done. Let's make sure we have enough cognition to actually get that guy down there. Oh, nice, you absorbed it. Good boy. He's gonna get hit. Yeah. Why do warriors have opportunity attacks? It doesn't make sense to me, I'll be honest. Sick. Alright, that'll do. These are going to prove difficult though. Get them there. Because we got to blast through this bit. If I can take out that immortal straight away, actually, that would be cool. Get rid of him first. <sighs> and let's go fight this guy. And it's machine spirit. Sick. One damage. Nice. Cool. He's gonna get beating. He's gonna get hurt. Reduced. Fuck. We should have just gone that way. But I didn't see it. Alright, let's get this Katari on the board now. He can back up him. Oh, you're just going to blast him, are you? That's cool. We can just nuke him down. It was meant to do... It's meant to do plus nine physical damage. That's a fucking outrage, that is. soon because acid nice critical hit that's what we like to see bruh these guys are pissing me off Cognition. Let's kick some ass. Okay, we're not doing a lot of damage. It's perfect for him to do his bullshit as well. Watch him. Yeah, okay. He needs some help. That'll do. Oh my god. Okay. 
He's going to die otherwise. Two damage. All of that. All that for two damage. I can't do any damage to them with him as well. This is... This is... This is not going well. Do they both get opportunities? Yes. It's not going to down him though still. Because this guy's fucking wham. He's down. He can't pick up cognition, can he? At least I don't think he can. Please do some fucking damage this time. In one damage. Come on, man. This is just disappointing. Yeah. I should have gone this way around. More scarabs. Oh, this game's difficult. Last servitor. Just defend us, my guy. Please. Feed the enemies now, or do we win? Fuck off! Oh. Blasted. 
kill. Yes. Right, we need to overwhelm this guy. Oh, he's been he's got acid damage, which means he'll die in a bit. I can't do any damage to him, that's the thing. All the damage I do, I, 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 I can't. Because he just absorbs it. There is no way I can damage him. I don't know, physical maybe. Making his way in there. A good opportunity. Alright, he's down. Alright, skip to turn. Might actually be able to do something. Huh. The opportunity attack should kill him. Come on, come on, come on. All right, he's dead, he's dead. Shoot that. 
Oh, I think it's win. We didn't lose any tech priests as well. Yes! Get in! Oh my god. Mission complete. The cohort defends the location of the Luskatari unit, enabling them to move the Oculus Topographis back out of the tomb and towards Skatari lines. <sighs> Troops and valuable surveying device they escort are saved from perishing in the tomb of Angrileg. Fucking hell. Squad survivors are back at our lines and the Oculus has been salvaged. We have been set back in our explanation of the tomb Agrilek, but not nearly so far as we would have been if the unit had been lost. Is the Oculus Topographis providing data? It is fully functional, although at this stage I can report nothing other than that the tomb of Agrilek is huge. This shall be factored into future missions. Ensure I am appraised of further developments of Domina. Fucking hell. That's ridiculous, that is. Some Blackstone loss for some damage. Only a little bit. Okay. Oh, we got our things. Okay, energy attacks do more damage. Break two physical armor. Ignores all armor. Plus three energy. Let's fight movement. New sector. Whereas the other tombs are sterile, this one is grossly sunned with the union of light and depth. The first scouting manipulators to enter are overwhelmed by the appalling stench. They walk straight into channel into a channel house. Biological remains plaster every wall and floor. Some are creatures indigenous to Silver Tenebris, but other and unmistakably human, presumably from the former colonists of St. Hart's Hope. Their decay begins instantly as the sealed atmosphere of the tomb is breached. A metallic, skittering herald, something even worse, waiting at the tomb. In this pit of disease and death, even the mind of a tech priest is vulnerable before its horrors. Cool, we found a new location. Let's do some leveling up. Right, so we have an alpha now. Sick. You probably need some levels up. Alright. Give him the legs. Cool. Uh, I think. What do you want? Collect a cognition point. Yeah, I can only have one of them. Oh, no, wait, the chest is taking up the slot. Bruh. Alright, uh, can I upgrade the other one at all? Hell no. Jesus Christ. Right. Oh, fucking hell. That was a fucking nightmare. But I think we're gonna gonna leave that one here today, boys. So thank you very much. I do now have a VOD channel and I've been doing more on my actual YouTube channel. Um Do Kukum and Do Kukum VODs. So this will probably go up in a few hours, uh on the VODs channel. Uh, so if you're watching it on there, hello, hi. Um this was streamed. Um, also, and if you're watching this on YouTube, uh, you probably won't see this en ending bit, but uh, come over to my YouTube. Um, I'm trying to figure out how to edit things into a, like a fun fashion, um, make them a little bit more bite-sized, you know. Um, I've got two videos on there so far, so yeah, feel free to check them out. Um, but I'll be streaming soon, so see you then.